Well, it's October, the month of Halloween and horror, and today I have a brand new horror film to review for you guys. It's my absolute pleasure to bring you this review of The Super. Because although not the best film, I actually thoroughly enjoyed this. It's a new horror film featuring none other than Val Kilmer. And I know, I know, what the hell, Val Kilmer? The actor that was huge and then fell into obscurity, but he's back. And I'll tell you something, he's unrecognisable in every good way. So let's discuss non-spoilers first, then we'll get into spoilers. But I would genuinely encourage you to watch this film and not listen to the spoilers, because there are some heavy twists and turns that you won't see coming. Basically, the overall plot of the movie, in a non-spoiler fashion anyway, is we are set in one location, an apartment building in New York City. People are going missing, murdered, maybe, by a mysterious force. Flash forward to an ex-cop at the apartment block looking for a job. He gets the job, moves in with his two kids, and the missing people continue. The cop essentially takes it upon himself to solve the mystery. Now, during all of this, we're introduced to Val Kilmer's character, Walter. Oh yes, that's right. He isn't the cop. He isn't the lead you are likely expecting him to be. He plays the most senior superintendent at the apartment block, and a very dishevelled man at that. This is not the Val Kilmer you know. Honestly, he, is, he genuinely is nearly unrecognisable. So anyway, there is this air of sinister atmosphere around Val Kilmer's character, Walter. And so the cop obviously thinks it's him, but also thinks it could be the manager of the apartment complex as well. That's it, and I can't discuss any more in non-spoilers. But I will say this, for those thinking that this movie being in one location is of detriment, I have to say, please don't. This film being set in an apartment building absolutely works, and it is not to the detriment of the film at all. I will tell you this, this film was honestly not what I was expecting. IMDB have given it a 6.2 out of 10, and I have to agree, or at least something around that level. It's a refreshing take on the horror genre, and that's quite hard to do. Now, I'm not going to say that it isn't paint by numbers in certain areas, or I haven't seen certain framing before and certain jump scares, but it's still a refreshing take. And from a technical perspective, how it's shot, yeah, it isn't anything mind-blowing. We get a fairly competent level of cinematography from Felix Kramer and Stefan Kupek. Everything looks pretty good on screen, colours are nice, the use of lighting is eerie, and it does add more tone and atmosphere. But then, sadly, we have these really awful cuts between scenes, as if the camera is floating through the ventilation shafts. And when I first saw this, I instantly rolled my eyes and thought, right, okay, this isn't going to be a good film. But, overlooking that, it actually turned out to be very, very engaging and genuinely a good film. The acting overall is good. There are some throwaway actors here and there who phone it in or they simply just, you know, they can't seem to act. But generally speaking, you do get that in most films from time to time. Outside of the acting, there is a weird sound mixing issue. Some of the audio almost appears to be dubbed, but I think that's potentially down to the quality of the screener that I was watching. So, I know this all sounds doom and gloom, but from a technical perspective, I could liken this to maybe a Blumhouse production, so still really quite decent. The score as well, although not something that you can pinpoint and go, right, yeah, that was awesome. It was timed exactly right to cause some jump scares in genuinely atmospheric moments. So Val Kilmer is really great in this. He is sinister, he is almost monstrous to look at, and he's framed in such a way that it almost appears like a depraved and evil aura is just oozing from him when he's on screen. If you want to see a return to form, but in a completely new direction for a seasoned actor, I can highly recommend this movie. Like I say, it isn't absolutely incredible, it's around a 6 out of 10, but it was a really good movie, and there is a twist that is so fast that I genuinely didn't see it coming. 
There's some great imagery and moments where I genuinely thought, oh crap, yeah okay, I'm, I'm a little bit jumpy here. So it has an initial release in the States on the 19th of October. I'm fairly certain it won't be out in theaters, but it will be on digital download. So please do go and check it out. It's, it's worth a watch, an hour and a half of your time that you will likely not regret. So that out of the way, let's discuss spoilers. You've been warned, full spoilers ahead and major reveals. So yeah, go get a cup of coffee, whatever, done. Are you warned? Yeah, good, awesome. So this man's kids, turns out one of them is dead. Now this is a trope in horror that of course we have seen before, but normally it's peppered in the film with breadcrumbs leading you to think that, or shown and framed in a way that is poor and it just makes it really obvious. But Jesus Christ, I was not expecting this reveal. Now I don't know whether everyone would have got that, but for me, it was an incredible reveal. Val Kilmer's Walter, up until that point is so well framed as this evil sinister man that you firmly believe it's him or at the very least you go from thinking it's him to thinking it could be the manager of the complex and then back to Walter again. I was not expecting one of the daughters to end up being a ghost or an evil spirit of some sort. That came as a complete surprise. The dad was the one doing all of the murders at the behest of his dead daughter. Walter was a descendant of some demented man by his own admissions and it's his job to now protect people? Obviously this isn't explored much due to the need to frame him in this sinister light to keep the reveal a surprise, but it also really works. The amount of information they provide is just enough. It's also one of those movies that you're expecting a really happy ending mainly because it had been murder and death aplenty. But nope, the dad kills Val Kilmer's Walter and essentially goes off to continue his dead daughter's bidding. Absolutely insane. This is a twist that I didn't see coming. And like I said in non-spoilers, the bizarre use of scene transitions, the camera kind of CGI going through the ventilation shaft, yeah, it's an issue. It did remove me from the film initially and because the first one is so early on, I did think, ah, this is gonna be a little bit off, but no, it really does redeem itself to the point where something like that can be overlooked. The score is really good, very, very on point. It's just enough that you hear it, it accentuates scenes, but it's not overpowering. It is somewhat forgettable, but it helps build the scenes where tension is needed and intended. Like I said, go and watch this film. I, I can genuinely recommend it, it's an hour and a half, and it's really, really decent. It's good to see Val Kilmer back, but not in a typecast role. His character here is so left field of what you would expect, and it leads me to want to see more of him in these particular types of movies. It's not standout, but it's a good intro to hopefully a comeback for the man. So, if you have seen it, what did you think? And if you haven't, but you've stayed this long, will you watch it now you've heard my review? Does it interest you at all? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button and share it, as I feel this movie will sadly fall under a lot of people's radars. Guys, if you're new here, please do hit that subscribe button. And for returning subscribers, I just wanna let you know of a documentary that I'm helping support. You can check out the Kickstarter to that documentary down below in the description box. It's, like I said, it's a Kickstarter documentary about 80s horror. It's something which obviously we cover on this channel all the time and it encapsulates a lot of what I do. So I am personally supporting it and I hope you guys do too. And off the back of that, if you've ever wanted to meet me, I'm gonna be at the launch event for this particular documentary, Friday the 26th of October in London at a bar called Pimp Shui. I'll be there that evening, that night, hang out with me, have a beer, chat some crap. Anyway guys, and as always, I have been Mr. H, and I will catch you in the next video.